are you having problems with just cutting something up in mesh mixture and putting it together? Want to make a peg system so that you can put, have a hole on each side and put a peg and put it together so it can even be opposable? Join me today as I show you how to do that in mesh mixer. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said guys in the intro, Mesh Mixer Part 2, we are going to cut a piece off and then I'm going to show you how to make a peg, a hole in each side to put a peg in to put it together with. So what does that mean? It makes it easier to put things together but it also can give things joints so you can move on that as well. So it's just a simple little process. This probably won't be a terribly long video like this. This is kind of cut it cutting and model up part two with a little bit advanced work to it. So we're going to hop over to the computer and we're going to cut up the Hulk Buster. I have not printed this model. When you look at the model, it's all one thing, which means a support mayhem. So I am going to do this building on a Ender 3 platform. If you guys are curious on how to add the CR10 or other items, how to cut up different things, hop back to video one popping up above me here to see how to just do basic plane cuts. Today we're getting a little bit more advanced and we're going to make specific cuts and specific parts of the model to make it a little bit easier to work with and print so you can print in separate pieces. Um, one particular model this might be useful on is there is a Hulk model out there that tends to have a support issue that fails and the arms get really bad. So this one will actually let you cut the arms up, cut it off, and print the arms as separate pieces and put them together. So this is just one example of what you can do with the model. I'm just showing you technique. And at the end of it, we're going to do a repair on the model and get it ready to print. Now also, there is the manual way to do this, which is not any fun, where you take the hobby drill, you make a spot on each one, and you drill a hole, and you use something like a paper clip or something, cut it to size, and put the pieces together in glue. That is a manual method. Um, if you're doing like miniatures, itty bitty miniatures, you may want to go more that route. Um, but this is how to do it in the print model. So we're going to hop over to the computer and get that done. But first, important thing, you guys have blown me away as we started into 2021. Um, the subscriber count, wow, you guys, I really appreciate every subscriber that joins the crew. We're almost up to like 900 as I make this video. You know, if you enjoy the content on this video, you enjoy what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join the team. I want you here. Um, if you're interested in 3D printing, learning more advanced topics, or you're just getting started, there's a video on this channel for you guys. So I am big in Creality. Um, as we jump further into 2021, we are going to start seeing the live stream. I've got a Sunloop 8 in the box I haven't even put together that I plan on putting together on live stream. I don't have a date for that yet but it's coming, so stick around. So make sure you share this with your friends, anybody you know is getting into 3D printing or is a 3D printer or wants to keep building skills, share the channel. I really do appreciate you guys. Every little bit that this channel grows just shows me I'm doing something you enjoy. If there's something you wanna see or that you're curious about or options, leave a comment down below. I try to respond to every comment we see, so leave it down below and we'll try to get that taken care of. So let's hop over to the computer. All right, so we're gonna do a more advanced cut. So the plane cut, like I showed you, if you do a plane cut through his arm here, it's also gonna take part of his foot. So that cut won't work for just separating the arm. We need to take and separate the arm. So we're gonna do this a different way. We're gonna go to select, and we're gonna highlight the area that we wanna cut, like that. Then we're gonna go up to edit, and we're gonna do the plane cut. And we're gonna take our line through where we, where we want the cut, and slice, keep both, should be selected as your cut type, and accept. Now you need to go to edit and separate shells. Now we've got two separate pieces with a cut right there. We got two separate STL models. We didn't lose part of his foot like we would in a normal plane cut or a piece of the fingers trying to do a cut through there. So now that's two separate models. We could print this as the two separate STLs and put them back together or we can step this one up a little bit and create a hole on both pieces that we can put a peg or a dowel in and connect them together and actually give it a pivot if we wanted to at that point. 
Now, granted, in the model in real life, that would not be a pivot point. We'd want it over to the left a little bit more, but I'm gonna show you guys the method so you can do this yourself. So, next up is creating the hole and the peg. So, let's jump over to that. Okay, now we're gonna create the alignment pin. So we've split, we've created our cut, and we got him ready to go. But I wanna put a pin in here that makes it easier for me to glue this on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide the arm from view. That way we can see, and I'm gonna rotate this so I can see there. And I'm gonna go over here to Mesh Mixer, and I'm going to grab a cylinder, and I'm gonna drag it in here. Now what I can do is I can grab here and resize, and then I can grab here to move. Now I kinda wanna get a good alignment on this, and we're gonna have to shrink it down more. And then I'm gonna move it more to the center of where we're working. So that's the basically that's the pin. Now what I want, need to do here is create new object, and I need to accept. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a copy of that two times. All right, so once those are copied, we wanna hide the two new parts that we created. Then click on the body and click shift. And the bowling, uh, this menu will come up, you want bowling difference. And you'll see now it looks like there's a hole, which is great, that's what we want. Now, I usually undo that and use intersection curves, and I'll dip that down a little bit, and I'll hit accept. That will eat that part. Now, what I need to do is I need to repeat that process on the other side. I need to bring one of those pins back that I copied. And as you can see, now we have that here. So clicking on that, hit shift. And then uh, bowling difference again. Uncheck, check mark, use intersection curves, and reduce that down to about 4.1 and accept. Now it's gonna eat the second one. So now you've got three parts. Once everything's made visible again. Oh, I did something wrong. And there you can see I made a mistake. So undo, 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 undo. Okay, his arm's back, all right. So we're gonna hide shell one. We're gonna click shift on while we're on his arm. Bowling difference. And we're gonna do this again. Hopefully I can get it right this time. And accept. Okay, this time it did it right. So I've got my three parts. There we go. I must have been just clicked on the wrong piece. So as you can see now, we've got Hulk. We have three STL files to escort. You've got the main body. And if I hide these two, you've got your, your basically your uh, alignment pin that will fit into the predetermined holes. So you can print all three parts and get his arm done with no issue. So that's how you do an alignment pin, and you just repeat the process on the rest of the model as you need to. So if you wanted to cut off the other arm, you just repeat the steps that I did, and you can make an alignment pin over there, you can make that arm a separate print, and you don't have to worry about a ton of supports because you can take them off and put them on. Um, and if you put the pins in the right places, you can actually make it to where the arms move up and down. That's the great thing about a round cylinder. Now a lot of them, if it's just a model, a square is fine because that will limit any mobility, but Doing this with a circle or a cylinder, you can kind of have the arms go up and down and spin on that cylinder. Um, but this does make it easier to glue your models together, which is the key important piece that we want to achieve here, is making it easier to put your models together. So there we go. Let's hop off to the conclusion. All right, guys. And that's how to make the peg method into your model so you can put your model together and either have a poseable or have an easier way to glue it together that it lines up. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, join the crew. Leave a comment down below if you have further questions on Mesh Mixer because there is a ton that you can do with this product. It's a really awesome product. Share with your friends. Let's get the note out there and get how easy it is to actually manipulate models. So thank you guys. We will see you in the next video.